Hello guys, in this video we are going to flash the board with the final firmware which will allow us to read the sensors and publish their data in AWS. As the previous code I have also uploaded this to my github repository and you can download it from here. Once you get the code on your computer open it in MPLAB-X so we can take a look at the code. Uh, first, I would like to mention that uh, the, this code is based on the, on the firmware that is actually running on the AVR IoT board once you buy it. I mean, this is the stock firmware. Uh, this firmware is available as a, store, as a source code in the AVR IoT GitHub repository from microchip and also it can be generated uh, using MCC MPLAB code configurator. Now I have uh, only made changes to three files so we are going to take a look at them. The first one is sensorshandling.c. Here we basically have the code which is responsible for reading our sensors. This code is uh, not, not much uh, different from the one in the previous example where we just read the sensor, get the occupancy and uh, print the data in the serial console. Uh, with the only difference that here we don't uh, print, print the, the values. We have two functions. The first one is uh, here, uh, Omron get temperature, which uh, when called returns the temperature of the temperature reading of the sensor. And the other one is sensors get occupancy, which returns true or false whether there is a person in front of the sensor or not. Uh, the next file is here, uh, the application manager.c. Here we are mainly interested in this function uh, sent to cloud. Here we basically get the values from the sensing sensor handling dot C and, and assign them to local variables. And after that we generate this JSON array which uh, consists which holds all the, the sensor readings. For example, the light sensor readings, the internal temperature readings, the Omron temperature and the occupancy status. And uh, we send this to the cloud. Here you can see that uh, there is a comment in the code which states that uh, this function is called every, every one second while we have a valid cloud connection. If we want to change the time between readings, uh, we can do it here in the IoT sensor node config. And here I have set it to 10 seconds because I don't think it's necessary to be that often. Now we are ready to flash our boards. But before that, I would like to remind you that uh, you should you should have already provisioned the AVR IoT board and connected it to your account. Without this, uh, without finishing this step, you won't be able to get the, the data in your AWS console. Once uh, we have uploaded the code, we can see here in the uh, I IoT core in test and MQTT test client the data that we are receiving from the sensor node. This is the JSON array with all of our sensor data. The light intensity, the internal temperature sensor, the Omron temperature and the occupancy status. Now when we have uh, the data here it's good to visualize it in some way. For uh, for this for visualization, I have found a simple solution 
in AWS, which is somewhere here. I'm sorry. Here it is. It's called uh, QuickSight. And uh, we can easily create this simple dashboard which shows the temperature readings of both the internal and the Omron sensor and also the occupancy of the of the bed where when we have a bar it represents a true that we have occupancy and uh, when we have nothing I mean zero or false it's just white uh, this uh, this quick site is uh, a paid it's a paid service but uh, at least in my account I got 60 days uh, free trial so please have this in mind while testing uh, that if you if you're not gonna use it it's better to suspend the subscription so you're not uh, you're not charged also there is a iphone and uh, android app called quicksight and uh, you can access the, the these dashboards also from there in the next video i'm gonna show you how uh, i have created this uh, this beautiful dashboard and uh, how i got the data from iot core through uh, IoT analytics to the QuickSight dashboards. See you later.